It's our good and beautiful life daily reflection for Thursday, July 23rd. Um, hope your week is going well. I hope um, we started out the week talking about uh, just making more time to pray. Um, we have so many people giving us advice right now in all kinds of ways, all kinds of places. It's so angering and confusing to uh, not know what's going on. Lots of anxiety around us. Um, I told one of my older kids this week, you just need to quit the podcast because they were just listening to all these different ones. And they, they were like calling me going, what do we believe? Um, uh, there's just so much out there right now that's trying supposedly to help us. And uh, we believers have got to connect with him. We've just got to spend the time put in the effort um, to be focused, to be praying, to seek first his kingdom like we've talked about um, this week. So let's let's um, start our time together um, doing that. Just take a deep breath. I know some of you um, have told me you're listening to these, these uh, little reflections as you're driving, so I know you got to keep your eyes open. But even there, um, just relax. Um, Ask the Holy Spirit to, to just clear anything on your desktop that doesn't need to be there for the next few minutes. Take a couple of deep breaths. And then right there where you are, just invite and acknowledge the presence of the Holy Spirit. Come. Come, Holy Spirit. Be with us. Father, today we, um, we just acknowledge to you how easy it is for us to get our hearts and minds twisted back toward the stuff of this earth. It's problems, it's fears. Lord, it just seems like there's so much right now. But Lord, we also know and we acknowledge to you and, be, and to ourselves today that your kingdom is real. That Holy Spirit, your presence is near. But you teach us that you are in us to help us seek, to help us focus our attention. And we invite you to help us do that again today just for these few minutes that we have that we would be overwhelmed by your grace. The reality that you're doing stuff in us that we can't do for ourselves. <laughs> we rest in that today, Lord. Overwhelm us with your peace. And Lord, in the midst of it all, we will just be thankful. You are so good. Amen. There's a section in this chapter that's entitled One Day at a Time. And it's really a short little section. I think there was five or six paragraphs. Um, you could write a whole book on that. Uh, at least a couple of good sermons. Um, but Jesus took time in the middle of his sermon here, talking about worry, to focus on this whole idea of don't worry about tomorrow. One day at a time. It's because worry almost always, in fact, I think it always involves tomorrow or some sense of the future. It's really difficult, almost impossible to worry about what's happening right now because we're right in the middle of it. It's happening right now. Jesus seems to say that right now is where we live. It's where we're supposed to keep our focus. It's where we encounter him and his kingdom. And every moment that I spend focused on tomorrow, worrying, I'm missing what's happening in his kingdom in my life right now. It's powerful. It's something we can't ignore. Um, even if it's just in this moment, that awareness of his presence that I believe we just experienced together as we prayed. In addition to that, this one day at a time thing, I, ju I just want to encourage us today, um, as we've encouraged each other almost with every one of the chapters, 
that we need each other. I can't fight worry by myself. I've tried. It doesn't work. Um, I need somebody fighting it with me. I need somebody reminding me what his kingdom looks and feels like. I need somebody uh, beside me who has been through stuff, who can remind me how God took care of them in the midst of some circumstances so that um, they're not worrying about it anymore. We've got to seek him and his kingdom together. We've got to share his peace. Just a reminder today, he did not ask us to fight this battle alone with him and with one another. So it's just because we close today, I, I just wanted to focus on this word um, hope that I believe grows out of seeking first his kingdom. These are days that suck the hope right out of us. Um, Charlene and I have just been through, uh, through some stuff that feels like that. Caused us to question our future, made us change course, um, gave me the opportunity to sit back and say, God, come on, I got to know what's going on. What are we going to do? Where are we going? What's happening? And right in the middle of this chapter that we're studying, um, there was the word, Dan, just seek my kingdom. Seek me first. Get your heart and mind set on me. Trust that I've got your future, Dan. If as a Jesus follower, the future brings fear and worry instead of hope, I know something's wrong. He didn't say it would be easy. Told us there would be hard stuff. But today, like the verses we're learning in Colossians, because Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father, that assures me that my future is secure in him. That he's really involved in the details of my life. He made me that promise. That he's working all things together for my good. And I've got to believe it. Especially in these days. And if I can, with his help, I can be different. I can look like Jesus and have hope in the midst of this crazy world we're living in. Let's close. Let's just get quiet again. Get back into praying. Holy Spirit, will you please help us to be honest and identify the areas of worry in our life today, Lord, the places where we're looking into the future, where we are trying to control things we can't control. Help us see where we're missing stuff right now. We ask and we trust you, Lord, to bring a fresh sense of hope that will overcome and overpower, Lord, all the stuff that's sucking hope out of us. And Lord, I believe as we do that, we are going to look different. The world around us is going to wonder what we got. And we can tell them about you. Lord, let our hope be grounded in that relationship knowing that we can never attach it to circumstances because we can't control them. Change us, Lord, from the inside out. We bless you and thank you. Just rest in that, I pray today. Take a little time as often as you can to just get back into that place. Be thankful. Be aware of what the kingdom's doing right now, the king is doing right now in your little kingdom connected to his. And then just be blessed. Rest in him. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>